Alright, I've just taken the four individual pieces of this skirt outside and sanded where they uh, connect uh, to even out the layer lines for some better adhesion. And as you can probably see right here, a little alignment issue. Um, I've currently got this thing set so that all the other four corners are aligned so that the interior square is even and flush. Okay, there's one split, there's another split, there's another split on the file, and then there's this split on the file. And it's it's off in a couple different dimensions there. One thing I noticed is that if I separate these two pieces and join them together, they're flush on the back side, but you can probably tell by the shadow, this front side sticks more forward than the front side of this piece. Now these were all four printed from the same spool of filament on the same printer, saved with the same slicer at the same time. The only thing I did differently was I leveled the bed, re-leveled the bed, it doesn't have automatic bed leveling, it's a, it's a TiVo Tornado which is like a Creelty S10 where it's got the four springs, spring in each corner and a knob that you adjust to get your bed level. So the bed leveling between the four pieces was a little bit different, but I mean that's, you know, less than the width of a piece of paper in the Z direction. And then the other thing was they obviously printed on different days. Um, the two small pieces took something like 12 hours to print and the bigger pieces 20 hours to print. 25% infill, 0.2 resolution, four perimeters. So I don't know if the file for this piece is maybe a little bit off, or if it's just the difference in humidity of the two days I printed. I mean, I can get that to line up in the front, but then it's not aligned in the back. To do that I would have to sand away at the uh, joint here in this corner. But I don't think that's going to help. Obviously that won't help being able to line these all up in the back. Because, yeah, there you go. The gap is just is just odd. So I'm not sure what, you know, here I am, my first large body piece, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know whether to just backfill that with Bondo and gently sand the curve down. Um, so just basically... Put these two parts together. I plan on using two part epoxy. Put those two pieces together, put the other two pieces together, and then just try and do the other two sides as best I can. Yeah, kind of kind of annoyed at that. I mean, that might just be how 3D printing goes, especially on something this big. It might be the file. I don't know. I do have the first ring also printed. So I guess I could lay the first ring out and see if that's similar. Because if that's going to happen through all the different, all the three rings, then yes, alignment can be an issue on the body more than I thought it was going to be. So maybe I'll stop this video and get the first ring pieces put down here and see 
how they look. Pre-sanding, I haven't sanded the, the edges where they'll be glued yet on those, but let me do that. Okay, here's the first ring. Um, again, I have not sanded between the pieces. This one right here, I can tell there's a little extra plastic. It just needs to be sanded off on that flat backing piece. So that's kind of keeping it from mating up uh, smoothly. Um, this piece might be a little bit warped. It looks off there, but if I actually press it down, it's fine. Um, I'm wondering if it might be the board. I thought this board was fairly flat, but... Either that or the front is a little bit off. It's just kind of odd that it's the only piece that's rocking like that. Um, so yeah, this one doesn't look as off as the base or as the uh, skirt. So perhaps the skirt file is just a little bit odd after being split. I, I don't know. Um, this piece here, might as well talk about it, um, these four pieces here, this is the first ring of the Mark III R2-D2 body. And started with a fresh roll of white PLA, which was enough to do three. Again, I'm doing 25% infill, four perimeters, and 0.2 resolution. This one, <laughs> that one, um... You know, I had a little purple left over from the skirt. And I had a little white left over after doing the first three rings, but not enough to finish the fourth ring. So it's all the same brand PLA. So I figured, well, I might as well use my scraps. So six hours to print the white. And then I had enough purple for exactly six hours to print that much purple. And then I think it, the rest of it was orange, which was something like nine hours, I think. So that one's th three different colors. So it used up all the rest of my white, all the rest of my purple, and a fresh roll of orange. All from the same manufacturer, the same shipment. Um, one other thing I can do here is show... The hex port. Um, I have two printers and I printed this hex port with on the second printer on the Prusa. And the rest of them are printed on the Tivo Tornado and sorry for the camera movements but it fits in there great. So should be just fine for me to print smaller parts on the Prusa. I won't print anything that attaches to the, you know, it's a body structural large part like that, but any kind of greebles, greebles, greeblies, whatever you want to call them. Um, looks like I can print those on the Prusa, which is what I'm doing right now in the background. Um, and half the noise from that is my spool holder I printed that uses bearings and plastic and the plastic rattles like crazy. Um, so yeah, okay, two part video. First part was the skirt that I finished and this first ring. And yeah, I'm not thrilled with how the skirt's lining up. It is at the bottom of R2-D2 and you don't really, you know, it's not a highlight thing that you look at. Oh my, look at that wonderful skirt. Uh, the body is more important and this does seem to be better fitting than the skirt did. So I'm feeling the the levels apart from the way that this one seems to rock and the others don't. And I guess yeah that one 
might have a little bit too. That definitely feels like the bottom. I mean, it didn't come off the bed. It didn't... I wasn't able to stick, you know, a fingernail or anything under it while I was printing. I was doing that. And then once it got past this point, it was started to go vertical. I put blue tape in these two corners of each piece just to help keep it to the bed in case it was going to rock, come off the bed. I'm using a glass bed with hairspray for adhesion. So, yeah, of course white doesn't show up well on the camera. Yeah, so uh, I guess there we are. Like I said, there's the, the first two rows. Um, I think I'll give the printer a bit of a rest for a while. In a few days I should be getting five more rolls of white PLA, but it's from a different company. So I'm not sure if I'll do the rest of the body with that different brand of PLA. I might. I think I think five rolls might be enough for the rest of the body. Maybe not. Or I could just finish up the orange, which is the same brand, and then I've got red, I've got black, and I've got clear. Clear worried me because I didn't know if it would adhere the same, use a different glue, but then I guess from what I read online, PLA's uh, fairly clear to begin with and then they add coloring to it so clear PLA should act pretty much the same as colored PLA maybe maybe using a little less heat because it doesn't have the coloring additives or whatever maybe I don't know but this is where I'm at right now and I know nothing's perfect and you know this is a trade-off between spending 10,000 plus on an aluminum droid and 3D printing one yourself. Not being perfect. And I'll probably be the only one to notice it <laughs> once it's all built. That tends the way tends to be the way my projects go. I find all the little flaws, no one else sees them and So hopefully this one will end up the same way. But again, yeah, the skirt, not sure how to glue those four pieces together when there is obviously they're not they're not level. So I'm, I'm guessing I just need to glue two pieces together and then two more pieces together and then glue those two assemblies to each other. I just have to figure out how I'm going to do that. <laughs>